President Bakane has been under pressure from the opposition party to withdraw some of her cabinet nominations, and today she decided to drop one of them. Kim Myung Su is out as education minister nominee on charges of plagiarism. President Bak did meanwhile ask the parliament to reconsider the two other nominees still in limbo. Our Che Yusun has more. President Park spokesperson Min Kyung Wook on Tuesday said the president had withdrawn Kim Myung Soo's nomination for education minister and second deputy prime minister after he was grilled by parliament over allegations of thesis plagiarism. President Park quickly named five-term ruling Senate Party lawmaker and former party leader Hwang Woo-yeo as the new nominee for that post. Hwang's expertise in the field from his time as the chair of the Parliamentary Education Committee and his abilities as a mediator were highly noted. Selecting her political aide and a prominent figure within the party is thought to be a part of President Buck's strategic move to expand her authority over state affairs. Hwang has also worked closely with Che Kyung-hwan, who's been tapped as the finance minister and first deputy. Che was the floor leader when Hwang headed the party. As for the two other cabinet nominees that remain unconfirmed over allegations of perjury and real estate speculation, the president requested that the parliament reconsider them. While midnight Tuesday is the deadline, the president is widely expected to appoint seven of the eight new cabinet ministers without parliamentary approval on Wednesday. Meeting with the ruling party's new leader Kim Musong earlier Tuesday, President Bak stressed the need for a new cabinet and the party leadership to cooperate on a series of bills related to the economy and another that came about in the aftermath of April's ferry tragedy. On Tuesday, the president also named the safety management expert as her new vice security minister and an administrative veteran as her new senior presidential secretary for personnel affairs. Choi Yusun, Arirang News.